Bay City is the 56th largest city in Michigan. With a population of roughly 35,000 people, Bay City is located in central Michigan and lies on the Saginaw River at the mouth of the Saginaw Bay of Lake Huron. Bay City covers 11 square miles and is the main city of Bay County. Leon Trombley was the first settler of Bay City in 1831. He built his log cabin on the Saginaw River and soon after in 1837 it was established and finally in 1865 it was made a city. Bay City was originally known as Lower Saginaw. This was because Bay City was down the river closer to the mouth from Saginaw. Many moved from Saginaw to the new Lower Saginaw because larger ships had trouble navigating the shallow waters farther down the Saginaw River. The deeper waters of Bay City made it a better area for the growth of industry, logging, and shipping. Bay City started from less than 2,000 people, and in 1865, a new city was created, and rapid economic growth took place with things such as lumbering, milling, and shipbuilding. They would float logs down the Saginaw River to the industries and mills. Defoe Shipbuilding Company in Bay City built destroyer escorts, guided missile destroyers, and patrol craft for the United States Navy. To keep the strong heritage of naval ships, the Saginaw Valley Naval Ship Museum worked with the Naval Sea Systems Command in order to bring the USS Edson, a former warship, to Bay City as a museum ship and its final resting place. It is still open today and the public can receive tours and there's even a haunted house that takes place on board. Also, Bay City was known for its building of large construction cranes. Madonna, a popular pop singer in the late 20th century, was born in Bay City. When asked about Bay City, she called it a stinky little town. In response, gatherings were held at local bars in the downtown to smash her records for her rude comment. Since then, she has said that she loves the city she came from. Water Street was known as Hell's Half Mile. This dates back to the 1800s when sailors turned lumbermen came to Bay City after a long winter's work. It is told that all hell would break loose on Water Street. The lumbermen would come and spend a high percentage of their year's wages on gambling, alcohol, and prostitution. This explains Bay City's need for so many churches. Visiting the Bay City Antique Center is a fun activity for the whole family that can take up the whole day with its fun sights and interesting antiques. It is located in downtown Bay City in the historic Campbell House Hotel building. This place boasts over 60,000 square feet and has three floors filled with quality antiques. It is only a few minutes from I-75 when using exit 162A and there is free on-street parking. The antique center includes a large selection of items including furniture, books, glassware, quilts, dolls, license plates, vintage clothing, jewelry, lamps, and more. In 1873, W.M. H. Miller & Co. was selling hardware, stoves, and tinware in this building before street numbers were assigned to Water Street. Miller had then expanded his hardware company to a larger building. In 1990, William and Elaine Fournier purchased the Rosenberry Building and later expanded it to include the Measle Building. This was the new home of the Bay City Antique Center. It was known as Michigan's largest and finest. Scott McIntyre purchased the Measle Building at 1010 North Water Street in 2003, which currently operates as the Bait Antique Center. My very favorite thing to do in Bay City is take a trip on the Princess Winona. The Antique Center in Bay City. It's a fabulous history place. It's a full city block long and three floors. So there's tons of things to look at from young children to us old adults. Ooh, 
that's a tough one. Um, because downtown is full of really good individually owned restaurants. The newest one I like is Prost. Uh, they also have a place in Frankenmuth, but that they have a fabulous uh, menu. And um, I like real seafood. I like beavers downtown. So there are really a lot of uh, really nice places to eat here. Ooh, well, you may know, may or may not know, uh, Bay City was a, a logging, a lumbering town. So the street the Antique Center is on is, called, is Water Street. It's called Hills Half Mile. So back in the lumbering days, the lumbermen would get, take their season's pay and they would come here to Bay City and spend their money. There were dance halls and uh, hotels and liquor stores and all that kind of thing. So so they had a good time here and they they raised cane. <laughs> so okay. they, they had a wonderful time. So it's famous for that. And now there's a film festival here in Bay City uh, named after Hills Half Mile. And uh, it's, it happens to be the, the strip that the antiques are on. There are also many places to dine around Bay City. One place with a great menu is Vinny's Uptown Grill. They offer an array of pizzas such as meat lovers, barbecue chicken and Hawaiian pizzas. These dishes are sure to make you salivate and beg your parents to go there for dinner every night. The Delta College Planetarium is another great place to visit in Bay City. You can explore the wonders of the universe through immersive shows and educational programs. You can learn about astronomy and enjoy breathtaking visuals of the night sky. Sometimes there are special events or guest speakers who are knowledgeable in the field of astronomy. Winona Park is right across the street from the planetarium and is another great place to visit in Bay City. There is wide open space for walking, jogging, biking, skating, and even perform your best talents. The wide open area is also good to enjoy the outdoors. There is a notable fountain called the Friendship Fountain, which was gifted to Bay City to encourage community foundation giving. There is some artwork spread throughout the park. There are also many flags and there is a stage called the Friendship Show that can be used for live music and other performances. There is a playground for the young ones as well as a pavilion to gather under for special events. The City Hall is a nice place to visit and learn more about the history of Bay City. Bay City has a river walk stretching 3.5 miles along the Saginaw River. It offers many beautiful views of the water and city. You can walk ride your bike or more on the Riverwalk. It is a great place to relax and enjoy your day. You can also meet many people and maybe encounter some people who are fishing. Overall, Bay City is a great place and has many fun things to do. One quick little trip will leave you with memories that will last a lifetime. <laughs>